In this video, I'd like to introduce the Nimbus Studio Stand. The Studio Stand really expands the capabilities of the Nimbus. The Studio Stand is a very simple box construction made with uh, acrylic on the top, uh, brushed aluminum in the center, and a mirror on the bottom. So it has one open side which allows for very interesting lighting techniques. And the bottom has a circular hole cut so that you can do spotlight backlighting. The Nimbus Studio Stand has adjustable feet on the legs that allow you to level it. The Studio Stand is also made to use the circle backgrounds that you can download for free from the website. The Nimbus fits right on top. I'm going to take a real quick photograph of this tourmaline crystal, green, in a quartz crystal. Touch to focus, set the exposure, and take the picture. This mineral specimen would actually look much better photographed with backlighting. I have a, a number of small LED lights that I picked up at a hardware store. This one in particular by Outlight has very good color rendition. And so I'm going to show you how you use this to actually backlight this. The reason that the studio stand has one open side is so that you can place a light next to it and evenly backlight this mineral. Because backlighting overpowers the sensor on the camera, you sometimes have to add extra light on the top. Uh, to do that, I have a second light and you just move it around outside the dome until you get just the exposure you want and then you take the picture. The underside of the stand has a hole cut in the mirrored bottom and that allows you to do spotlight backlighting. Here's just a simple little LED light. Turn it on and you just slide it underneath this way and that way you can actually spotlight the item and give it kind of a halo look. Now I'm going to photograph this snuff bottle made out of white and blue glass. Oh. I'm using a photograph of an old woodblock print from Japan. Because this bottle is translucent, it would really benefit from backlighting. So I'm going to take a, one of the lights, go ahead and just slide it in so that it goes in the side of the box. i am also found this piece of translucent paper at a scrapbooking store. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay that on there and put the bottle right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and just take that picture. Like that. Because the Nimbus is very quick to use, you can do all sorts of shots for jewelry that usually would take you quite a while to set up. Now I've gone to my local glass store and had them cut me an 8 by 8 inch piece of textured glass. Then I've taken this ring and I've used a little sticky wax to attach it to the glass. Go ahead and set it down. And the textured glass kind of changes the background a little bit. 
go ahead and take my shot. Now what's nice about this is that you want to try a ring with different backgrounds, see which one suits it best. Now I have uh, also picked up at the local store a bunch of origami paper that's very inexpensive and very colorful. So I will just go ahead and go through and show you how quick you can get the same ring shot with different backgrounds. So that you can actually photograph lots of pictures quickly and choose which photograph will actually work best for you. The Nimbus stand is really simple, just one piece, and it fits in this bag if you're traveling. What's nice about the bag is that the Nimbus also fits right in the top. And you can easily travel with a complete little studio in a bag. Thanks for watching our videos. I hope that in the future you'll be able to donate to our project.